Neo Peasant Hack, number four. <laughs> the fermenting table. And voila, let me give you a tour. Okay, here we have various krauts, vinegars and pickles interacting with other krauts, vinegars and pickles. For example, this is a, an, an apple, a scrap apple vinegar. And I've got a plate in there that's being held down by a, a, a um, pasteurised apple juice. This one here is a Jerusalem artichoke and ginger kraut being held down by some pickled Jerusalem artichokes. This one is a, another Jerusalem artichoke being held down by a beetroot and apple and kohlrabi, etc. This is another vinegar being held down by some the last of our gherkins. This is another one kraut that's got some beetroot in it and some cabbage being held down. Oh, more pickles. Um, put these over here so just to keep out the dust and the vinegar flies and over here we have some chilies that were gifted to us by Danny Kinnear from Danny's farm thanks Danny we're not sure what we're going to do with those but something mightily delicious here we've got some various juns and for those of you who don't know, jun is a kind of it's in the same family as kombucha it has a mother on the top and she pre-digests and ferments our green tea and honey concoctions. Here we have some ferments ready to go down into the cellar. This is fermented beetroot, which will be delicious. The liquid is especially good. I like to drink that. Uh, this one here is more Jerusalem artichokes, ginger, turmeric, carrots, beetroot and salsify being held down by... I'm going to push this out, down to get the last of the oxygen out. This is a, um, and being held down some pickled carrot, by some pickled carrots. Here we've got some two uh, apple ciders and this is the just a very fizzy um, summer wine. This is some uh, milk kefir and as you can see it's separated into the curds and whey and listen please. Whoop. So I'll strain that and make some her lovely herb cheese later in the day. Some more uh, pickled sunchokes, pickled um, Jerusalem artichokes. So a lot of people call them fartichokes because of the gas um, that they cause in our tummies, and that's the inulin which um, we don't, we lack the enzyme to digest. So um, lacto fermenting them, whether it's crouching or pickling, as we like to do, um, gets rid of that fartiness. So it just because it's free digested. So, uh, some more gherkins. Oh, we have a pumpkin here. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. Probably roast it and not ferment it. Um, and this one here, oh that's a carrot and ginger being held down. Oh look, more pickles. I thought that we'd finish those. <laughs> uh, here we've got some uh, two kvasses. We've got a carrot kvass and a beet beetroot kvass. And here we've got some yogurts being warmed. And this one is uh, an apple cider vinegar. And this one, I'll just pull you aside. It looks sort of like it's a bit mouldy, but that's just the mother that's formed on the top. And that's actually ready to, to be used now. That. Uh, apple cider vinegar. And that is it. Ta-da!